are now checking in at Palmaya, the house of Aya, and we will be spending the next several days here showing you guys around what we're eating and what we are up to. It is located in Playa Car, Mexico. We are so excited for our time here. It is a wellness resort, it is plant-based, they have yoga, they have kids' activities. It is gonna be completely amazing. So we're gonna get checked in and then start exploring. Okay, so it looks like I'm on room tour duty again, and I do not mind because guys, before I even get started, this is one of the nicest rooms we have ever stayed in. Oh my gosh. All right, so right when you walk in, you see how huge this room is, how nice it is. Off to the left here, you got these huge closets with plenty of storage. And then to my right, you have this beautiful bathroom area. Nice double vanity, nice walk-in shower right there, but obviously the coolest part is this gigantic soaker tub that looks it through the entire room and out to our swim out patio. It is beautifully decorated. Nice flat screen TV on the wall, but who in the world even cares about a TV when you're at this place? Huge king size bed, again, very nicely decorated. This is a beautiful room. I would like my room at home to look like this. <laughs> then you have this nice sitting area over here with a nice sofa that folds out into a bed for Tiana to have her own space. More beautiful decorations. Oh, and I didn't even see this. And again, everything's vegan. They left us some ginger shots there, something else. I'm not good with food. This is a Rihanna thing. And a charuterie, charuterie, <laughs> some type of board right here. Anyway, it looks delicious. Can't wait to eat it. Now let me show you probably the best part. You come over to this patio area. You open up your huge sliding glass door right here and you can literally swim out of your room over to the bar area or to the kids pool where Rihanna and Tiana are at right now. And you can actually swim the length of the resort. It goes down to like a nice lazy river that goes under the mangroves. Oh my gosh, guys, we are so excited for this place. Are you guys ready to see this room? <laughs> She's so excited, I'm dying with excitement. All right, let's do it, go ahead. Honest reaction. Okay, this is Tiana and Rihanna's first time seeing it. Wow. Wow. What do you think, baby? Oh my gosh. Wait, I see a shower. Yeah, a big shower. What do you think of that? <laughs> Rihanna found the food. Wow, it's so pretty. What's right there? Yeah. Go see. Ah, this is amazing. Like, I don't have any words. It's like 10 out of 10, and I'm it's not like just perfect. saying that. Like, this is a super nice room. The swim out suite is exactly what we thought it would be. It's really cool. Oh my gosh, it's crazy. So let me tell you guys how nice this is. You wake up in the morning, if you're down here in one of these swim out suites, you simply wake up, swim over here, to the bar where everything's included. And you start the day with whatever drink you want. For me, it's a nice cappuccino. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> Tiana just got her first coconut drink ever, fresh off the tree. It even came with a natural straw and she loved it. It is the beginning of our first full day here at Palmaya, and I'm actually headed to the 8 a.m. yoga class. Tiana's still asleep, surprisingly, because she's so exhausted from our adventures. I am very, very excited because this class is in the woods, like immersed in nature, and it's gonna be so awesome. So I'm walking there right now to the ritual deck.
Okay, so while Rihanna is at yoga, Tiana and I got hungry, and now we're gonna go eat. Hey, do you wanna get a donut? Yeah. What type of donut? Ladybug donut. A ladybug donut? Uh-huh. What the heck is a ladybug donut? I've never heard that one. <laughs> <laughs> okay, she wants a ladybug donut. Uh, but we're gonna get some breakfast while we wait on Rihanna. I got a cappuccino, she's drinking some orange juice. Cannot wait to eat this breakfast. The food here is amazing. You ready? Yeah. Can you show people your ladybug donut? There's her ladybug donut, whatever that means. For me, I got a cappuccino, I got a cinnamon roll, and I got a bowl of fresh fruit. All of it looks so good, and this is not even the main course yet. Yeah, coffee, baby. Do you want some coffee? Good, that's the last thing you need. All right, and for my main course, I actually got the waffles, which look delicious, and they come with some fruit to put on top. Out of all the things on the menu, Tiana chose cereal. <laughs> and, but now she's reaching and grabbing my waffles. Go ahead, baby, all yours. What's mine is yours and what yours is yours. Mm. That was incredible. The teacher was awesome. Just being surrounded by nature while you're practicing is just so beautiful. I could hear the ocean and the wind in the trees. And yeah, feeling really happy and grateful. And now I'm going to go find Tiana and John and see what they're up to. <laughs> We just dropped Tiana off at the Owen Children's Center, which is a Waldorf inspired children's center here, which is really awesome. The teachers seemed amazing and we actually weren't there to drop her off. We were there just to check it out and we were playing with her and letting her play and then she didn't want to leave. And there's other kids there, so we decided she could hang out there for a couple hours. Yeah, we were like, okay, baby girl, we're going to bring you back here in a little bit. And she's like, no, I don't want to leave. And we were like kind of thrown off guard because she never wants to leave us. So she really loved it. This is going to be the first time we can hang out on vacation by ourselves. And I don't know what to think about that. But anyway, uh, what do we do with our time now? I don't know. We're going to find something to do and we'll fill you guys in on what it is. actually decided to head to the spa and they're going to take us to the cenote. It's a healing cenote and we can swim in it so we're very excited and we did check on Tiana again one more time and she's doing great. She actually just waved, went back to playing. I can't believe it. This is Marcy. She's going to be taking us to the cenote and also telling you guys a bit about the spa area. Yes, actually here at this spa it's a little bit of different because this spa it's more about the environment, about your emotions, about your feelings. We don't call like rooms for massages or cabins, we call templos because mm -hmm. that one is very important for us. We have one temascal, it's like a, a, a form to express to express your, your, your feelings with a chaman. It's a very nice experience. And well, let me show you the, the cenote and where do you want it? Okay, okay awesome, thank you. <laughs> Marcy just gave us a tour of these beautiful grounds. She explained to us some of the rituals that take place in the temples, the ancient Mayan rituals. And she brought us this beautiful cenote, which we're gonna swim in and just have a really relaxing experience. All right, hurry up, because I don't want to get in there. Okay. <laughs> Okay, so we just finished up here at the spa in the cenote. It was amazing, super refreshing. I don't want to get ahead of myself here. We still have a couple of days left, but this is definitely a top three place we've ever been and it may soon become our number one. The food, the resort, the service, everything so far has been 10 out of 10. Hey, did you have fun with Miss Laura? Uh-huh. What did you do? You painted? painted? Yeah. Oh. She has the hiccups. <laughs> you painted like that? That's sign language. She's speaking sign, but we don't know what she's saying. I don't know that word. Yeah, so. she's smarter than us. Did you swim? Wow, did you go under? Yeah. 
Miss Laura said you're a really good swimmer. <laughs> Her little hiccups. You want to go back and see Miss Laura tomorrow? Oh, yay. There were some other kids there. She had a blast. And now we're all going to grab some lunch at the Plantisa Cafe, which we haven't tried yet. So we're really excited. Heard this place is really good. Okay, so we don't normally tour bathrooms for obvious reasons, but I already made sure nobody was in here. Check out how freaking nice even their bathroom facilities are. Look at that. They don't do paper towels. Every single one of these is a hand rolled towel. And after you use it, I'm actually gonna keep that one because I touched it. After you use it, they just keep restacking it so they don't waste paper towels. Absolutely beautiful. I know I've already said this about a hundred times, but everything here is just so insanely gorgeous. I cannot take it. But we are here at the Plantisa Cafe. We're waiting for our food. We're going to show you our food, but I also wanted to tell you that the next video you see will be a full what we eat in a day while we're here in Mexico. We're very excited about that because we love making what we eat in a day as so you guys love watching them. So make sure to subscribe so you don't miss that video and give this video a thumbs up if you're liking it so far. And our food is here, so let me show that to you. We just finished lunch and now we're gonna try out the preferred mode of transportation and Tiana is gonna enjoy her little ride in the basket while we pedal. Ready baby, let's go. How you doing over there? Good, this is really fun. Brianna isn't the most coordinated person so this is really dangerous. That's so stupid. <laughs> but Tiana loves it. Do you wanna go faster? Good morning everyone, it is our last full day here in Mexico and we are so sad that we're leaving soon. We're currently headed to breakfast. Last night we went to a beautiful fireside music presentation and that was so amazing. Tiana had so much fun dancing by the fire and now the sun is shining and we're going to have a great day. wore herself out here at the pool and she is knocked out right now and it's about like 5 p.m. so we're actually just gonna hang out outside until sunset and John is going to go to the taco truck to get us a snack to hold us over until dinner we love the tacos so much we can't miss having them one more time before we head home tomorrow okay so this is the taco truck and it's by far some of the best tacos and burritos we have ever had all right, so I ended up getting the mixed platter, which is one of each of their tacos that they make. I don't know what any of this is. Again, that's Rihanna's thing. Uh, but this is what I'm bringing to Rihanna and Tiana. As you saw, they were sleeping. So she got a mushroom taco, the cheesecake, and the brownie. It's hard to believe that this is all vegan. And it is so freaking good. These are amazing. So I'm actually up here on the fifth floor. The staff of the property was nice enough to give me access to this so I could shoot it for sunset and sunrise. It is absolutely gorgeous. I'm sure we'll talk about more of this at the end of the video, but guys, this resort is a 10 out of 10. We've stayed at a lot of places. We've been very fortunate to be able to travel a lot. From the food, to the service, to the grounds, to the rooms. Y'all saw how nice the room was. Highly, highly recommend it. And they are not paying me to say that. It's a legitimate review. We loved it here and we will be back. It's one of the few places that we said we would ever travel back to. Just look at that. We're going home, so we're sad. Yes. Except for this one, because I don't think she knows what that means. And so, mm. we're just gonna close. We are getting ready to check out here and we just had breakfast, our last breakfast on the beach. 
So we want to give you a bit of a review about what we thought of this place. 10 out of 10. And that's why yes. we're sad because we're leaving and like, I don't even want to close the video because that means it's over. <coughs> and this is one of the few places, I might have said it earlier in the video, but this is one of the few places that we said that we will come back to. Oh, for sure. This resort is just amazing. <laughs> We've been to better- <laughs> She's making fun of me. <laughs> Tiana's on another level right now. She ought to be fun in the airport. I know. So we're getting ready to head to the airport. Yesterday we got our COVID tests, which were included like with the resort. And we're gonna wait for airport transfer, unfortunately, and head back home to West Virginia. We don't hate home. Uh, we like our house and stuff, but we just love traveling. But what's nice is when you take a break from it and come back to it, you uh, keep appreciating it. So we were like, what if you lived here? And I was like, ah. Oh, Unfortunately, humans, we get used to anything. So if you lived here, uh, I'm not saying it wouldn't be nice, but you'd probably get used to it. So it's a nice break from reality, I guess. For sure. And I will leave all the information about this place in the description below in case you want to come here and experience it for yourself. Sorry, I keep looking this way because that's the beach and our swim out suite right there. And it's just like... Uh, I guess she's just being so funny right now. I know. Say, <laughs> hey, hey, can you say like and subscribe? No, I can't say. <laughs> Hello, Tiana. <laughs> Why do you look so mad when you're drinking, baby? <laughs> Alrighty, one, two, three. Did you drink Daddy's cappuccino at breakfast this morning? Yeah. She did not. Because <laughs> <laughs> that would not be good. <laughs>